Welcome back to uh, Real Analysis. Uh, if you recall from last time, we uh, were developing uh, some of the notions uh, involved uh, in the topology of the real line. Uh, in particular, we defined open and closed sets. And uh, we want to talk a bit about the relationship today. So let's just recall what it means for a set to be open. So a set uh, E in a metric space X uh, is uh, open. What does that mean? It's open if what's true? If every point is good. If every point uh, is an interior point. OK, so that's a, a rather curious definition. So an example here might be you might have a set here in the plane. And uh, to be an interior point means what? What does it mean for, an in to, for a point to be interior? Yes, Dylan? Yeah, so it's an interior point if every point has uh, a neighborhood around it that's completely contained in this set. So if this is the set E, here's a neighborhood that's completely contained in E. This point also has a neighborhood. I mean, they have many neighborhoods, but in particular, here's one. But of course, the closer and closer you get to um, the, 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 the boundary, in some sense here, uh, of the, the, the smaller the neighborhoods have to be to lie completely within E. But it is still true that, you're, you, that all the points in E have a, a neighborhood around it that's still within E. Okay? Everybody happy with this definition? This would not be true of a set like this picture, perhaps. Maybe you have a, a set like this where this point actually is also in E, but it does not have a neighborhood around it that lies completely within E. Every neighborhood actually has some points outside of E. So this set would not be open. Are you with me? Okay. Now, why do we care so much about open sets? Why do you think we care so much about open sets? We didn't really allude to this last time as we were just making definitions. Why do you think we care about open sets? Let's see. So, of course, you're used to thinking of pictures here in Euclidean space. Uh, but I want us to think maybe a little more broadly. This could be any metric space. And really what I'm saying when I say a set is open is I'm saying that if I take any point P, I can push it around a little bit and it still remains within, within the set, E. Are you with me? So to be open means I can perturb points in E and still have them stay within E, OK? So an example might be, um, let's look at the set of all triples of points in, in uh, the plane. Take three points in the plane. Are they collinear? Well, they are if they're collinear, if they all lie along a line, yes? OK, but um, suppose I look at the set of all triples of points that are not collinear. Would you agree that is a collection of three points, right? Maybe it may, Go ahead and make them ordered if you wish. Ordered points in the plane, that's described by uh, six coordinates, isn't it, right? Two for the first point, two for the second point, two for the third point. Okay, here's a question for you. Is that set, the set of all not collinear triples, an open set? Intuitively, yes, right? Because if three points are not collinear, is it, if you perturb it a little bit, is it still not collinear? Sure, right? You might, if you're really close to being collinear, then You'd have to perturb it just, you, you might not be able to perturb it much, but you could still perturb it a little bit and still be not collinear, right? So that's, that's the idea, of, that's one of the reasons why uh, the, the concept of an open set is, is extremely important. It means you can push things around and it still 
lives in the set. Okay? Is that true of this point here? Push it around? No, it's not. Uh, it, you, you'll leave the set. Okay, so that's what it means for a set to be open. Good. What does it mean for a set to be closed? So that was one definition from last time. A set, uh, let's give it a different name here. Uh, K is closed if what? Yes? Good. If K contains all its limit points. Okay. What's the big deal with a closed set? Oh, by the way, this this if is is the definition if it's it just it means I'm making a definition. K is closed precisely when K contains all of its limit points. Um, why do you think it's important? Well, it's important for us to understand when a set is closed. Well, if you have a closed set. What does it mean to contain all its limit points? Yes? It means something is separated from another set of limit points in it. And by that, I mean that I call the if the first set of limit points is contained in it. OK. So you're, you're, trying to, you're thinking about this in terms of what it's not? That's uh, one way of thinking of approaching this. Uh, before we talk about that, um, what about in just in terms of whatever this set is? What, 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 what's so important about having uh, a set contain its limit points? Well, it might be the case uh, as we uh, continue uh, in our dis uh, exploration of metric spaces that I, I'll have maybe a sequence at some point. We'll talk about sequences. And we'll want to know, does it actually, does it actually have a limit, right? OK. And if so, does, is that limit also in the set? OK. So um, an example, of course, here is these are points. But we could also be talking, if you're a physicist or an engineer, you could be talking about functions, right? You have a bunch of functions. And you want to know, does the sequence of functions have a limit, right? It could be some waveform of some, some signal, right? Does it have a limit? Uh, we have to define what it means to be the limit of a sequence, but I claim that's very closely related to the notion of a limit point of a set, OK? So does k, if k contains all its limit points, that's going to be a very useful thing, OK? OK, that's just to give you some motivation for these concepts and why we're studying them so carefully. OK, so uh, at the very end of last time, uh, I uh, defined the concept of the closure of a set. So this was uh, also a definition, but I'll repeat it here. So the closure of a set is uh, a set together with all of its what? Limit points. So the closure of a set uh, A is, it's defined to be, OK, the notation is A bar. And it's defined to be the set of A together with all its limit points. And this, this prime notation means the limit points of A. OK. OK. And, uh, that, if you like, would, it might take a set like this, which is, is this set, if I call this set A, is this set open? No, not if it contains this, these boundary points. Is this set closed? Doesn't contain all its limit points. But uh, if I throw in all the limit points, which includes a lot of stuff, but in particular includes these purple points that were not in the original set, it also includes all the interior points here happen to be limit points. Uh, is this set closed? Well, it's the closure. We sure hope that we named it, give it gave it a good name. So here's a theorem. A closure is, in fact, a closed set. <laughs>